guys, welcome to Man City Fan TV. This is Kian, and I'm bringing you the fantasy football review for game week one. So I hope you guys did well. There's been a bit of a mixed bag when I've been looking through some of the teams and the performances, but I just wanted to run over the uh, performances and which players stood out, which players to look out for, uh, potential bargains for game week two. So we're going to look at the forwards first of all. And you can see here, Ashley Barnes was the top performing centre forward. And he returned 13 points and he's available at 6.5 million. So bargain price there. So if anybody's interested in Ashley Barnes at Burnley, you can pick him up for 6.5 million. Then we've got Rashford at United. He had a great uh, first game as well. 13 points returned and you can pick him up for 8.5 million. Then we've got Harry Kane. Obviously, Harry Kane, uh, I think, scored a couple of goals in the first uh, week. And he's available at 11 million. So a bit more expensive to bring Harry Kane in. But obviously, he is a, a you know a big name. He does he does return those goals on a on a regular basis. He also returned 13 points. So those are the top three strikers there. Barnes, Rashford and Kane. They're ones to look out for. And then we've got the likes of Origi at Liverpool. So Origi... He's available at 5.5 million, so real bargain for a, for a Liverpool striker, but how many games will he play? I suppose that's the big question. Is he going to play on a regular basis? We just don't know. So you can see he returned 12 points in the first week. And then we've got the likes of Billy Sharp at Sheffield United. Solid week from him. Available at 6 million. He returned 8 points. You've got Puki from Norwich. Again, returned seven points, available at 6.5. So bargain there, really. Uh, those two players, Billy Sharp and Pookie, if you're looking for somebody from sort of a lower league, newly promoted, well, not lower league, lower placed in the league, uh, newly promoted side, then you can you can look at these kind of players. And then you've got the likes of Aubameyang. Obviously, he's a bit more of a prestige player. 11 million to buy Aubameyang at the moment and he returns six points and then we've got a couple of the the new lads here for Brighton we've got Mopai six million and he returns six and then our boys come in you've got Gabby Jesus we've got Sergio Aguero there so in terms of the striking for the very first game week on fantasy football it's all about really uh, Ashley Barnes Marcus Rashford and Harry Kane so if you had any of those uh, players in your team congratulations you you selected well and you might want to stick with them for game week two or you might want to look at the transfer so let's go ahead and take a look at the midfield then so in terms of midfielders it's pretty uh pretty clear who the best midfielder of the weekend was it was of course our very own Raheem Sterling and you can sign him for a value cost there of 12 million and that's not really a value cost because it, it's pretty expensive he's one of the more expensive players so 12 million for Raheem Sterling and he returned 20 points because obviously he scored the hat-trick I stupidly decided to remove Raheem Sterling from my team very late on in the uh, day just before game week one started so I missed out on those points but I do know Andy and I think Rob may have had Raheem Sterling so uh, congratulations to those guys on game week one they've got Raheem Sterling in there Riyad Mahrez he's uh, 8.5 million so a lot cheaper than Raheem but he also returned 14 points so a fantastic return uh, for Riyad Mahrez and then of course you've got Mo Salah in there he's an expensive player 12.5 mil you know you're going to have to break the bank really to, to sign Mo Salah uh, but he did did return 12 points so you can't really grumble you know if you sign Salah you're going to get consistency from him and then if we look at some of the other players who performed in the midfield positions you've got Goodmanson at Burnley now he's a real bargain actually Goodmanson he's only six million and he returned nine points and then we've got Pogba who took a, a break from his dabbing managed to actually uh, perform for United and he put in a good shift and returned nine points at a cost of 8.5 million. And then as we move down, some of the newer players to the league, you can see Endombele, value there, 6 million. So, you know, might be worth a risk because he scored a very good goal in game week one and he returned eight points. And then you've got McGinn for Villa. Again, he scored a fantastic goal away at Spurs. Did drop off a bit, uh, Aston Villa, I think, as, 
as a team dropped off a bit in the second half, but he put in a great shift, McGinn. I was really impressed with him. And his value is 5.5 million. And then as you move down, you can see some of the uh, usual candidates, Kevin De Bruyne, Anthony Marshall, and then we've got the new uh, Messi, obviously uh, James, the United there, he's in the list as well. So some good performances in the midfield. Let's take a look at defenders. And the best defender of the weekend was Peters from Burnley. He returned 14 points and a value there of just 4.5 million. So that might be a player you want to look at because Burnley looked pretty solid. Uh, albeit they were only playing uh, Southampton in game week one. And then you got Maitland Niles at Arsenal. So Maitland Niles had a bit of a shocker in the uh, preseason. I remember seeing a clip of him passing the ball back at Barcelona and uh, basically passing it into his own net. So he's recovered from that. And in game week one, he's managed to return 12 points. And again, a bit of value in Maitland Niles. He's only 5 million. And then you've got the centre-back at Brighton, Dunk. You've got Mepham, Mina, Pereira. So these guys are a little bit more value here. If you look along these uh, guys, Mina, Pereira, Bowley at Wolves as well. So Bowley's quite a consistent performer in the Premier League. You've got Socrates at Arsenal. And you're picking these guys up for around about £5 million and, and even cheaper for some of the Brighton guys. Uh, there. And then we've got Keane, and then you've got the usual suspects like Van Dyke, Walker, Wambasaka as we move down the list. So do uh, do have a look at the players. You know, uh, obviously see which players have performed and uh, which ones you need to sort of ship out. Because I know in the first week we all sort of dive in with the regular names, but there is some value out there as well. If you look around, you can you can get some value. So let's take a look at the goalkeepers very quickly. You can see David de Gea clean sheet against Chelsea uh, managed to get 10 points there so a great performance there obviously from De Gea many people would have picked De Gea you can see Edison returned 7 points as well so very steady from Edison I think Arsenal got a clean sheet so lots of clean sheets uh, in the Premier League for the goalkeepers my keeper I believe I had Alisson and Alisson got injured so he returned uh, just the 1 point uh, obviously, they conceded a goal Liverpool as well, so I don't know if that counted towards that. But he's available six million, but we don't know the extent of his injury now. So I think I'm going to be changing my goalkeeper this week for game week two. So what I'm going to do is I will move over to the leagues, and I'm going to show you the latest league standings, and we'll see exactly where everybody is up to after game week one. So let's take a look at the league table after this game week one of Man City Fan TV Fantasy Football League. And you can see here leading the pack is Chris Domsey on 118 points. We've got Scotty's Ballers on 110 points. And then in joint third, we've got Random Second and Blue Moon FC. Joint fifth, we have uh, Bald Frauds 9320. Sterling Silver as well, followed by Blue Moon Rising FC with 96 points, City 2020, Rodri Twatter and uh, FC Shorto, so that makes up your top 10. Let's just scroll down the table and see uh, what names we sort of recognise that pop out to us. We've got uh, Andy there, Man City Fan TV, is in 12th position on 89 points, so Andy's currently leading the Man City Fan TV presenters uh, mini league if you like and then we've got City of Guardiola as we scroll down a bit further you can see here shamefully to Kiam his wife is beating him in the fantasy league as expected Kiam's wife FC are on 86 points and are sat in 18th position in the league then at 23 Kamal Dwyer's team equally in Mangala FC as we scroll down a little bit more I'm just going to briefly uh, pick out a couple of uh, teams. You can see there's my team, Kiam MCFC, in 37th position. We've got Faisal in 42 there. I'm just going to hit the uh, next button to go on to the next page. And you can see from the top of the next page, we've got Top Bins, followed by Raw Shambles. So Rob Raw there is in 52nd position on 69 points. So at least I'm ahead of Rob. I can't quite compete with my wife or Andy. But I'm ahead of Rob, so happy days. And then as we scroll down the list, you can see a few more uh, teams and the current positions. We've got Pardo's Cousins there, 
in 63. We've got Winning Now FC. I like that name. Game of Stones. That's a cracking name as well. Blue Moon. Then we've got Iona Beats. Iona Beats is a regular on Man City fan uh, TV. Iona's Barmy Army. They're in 68th position on 61 points. And as we scroll down a bit further, you can see some other familiar names, including Manchester FC here, section 20. Manchester is on 56 points and he's in position 78. So a little bit of work for section 20 to do there, but it is very, 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 very early days. So don't panic yet. It's only game week one. And then as we scroll down, you've got Charles Deneen. So Deneen's Dynamo's there, sat in 90th position on 51 points. And we're just going to scroll down towards the bottom of the league. We've got Ryan. Ryan Corey there is a, a regular. And he's on uh, 37 points and he's in 98th position. So that's your league standings for game week one. And if you haven't already subscribed to the league, remember it's really easy to do so. Go to fantasy.premierleague.com. And once you've logged in and created a profile, all you have to do is go to the leagues tab at the top. Click on create and join new leagues. Click on join a league, join a private league. And then you just have to enter this code, XLVA6E. Once you enter that code, hit join league and then you're in. Thanks for watching guys. And good luck with the rest of the fantasy league season. Take care.